All right, fellas, so this one flipped. Now, Snugs Flipped is a really good complement to our Gun Bunch scheme because Gun Bunch really requires our opponent to be in a cover two defense to even contain us. Snugs Flipped has a play called Brown Switch. And the setup is to streak the B receiver, streak the outside left receiver, and then you're going to motion hike this out route. But the main thing I wanted to show is verse A cover 2. You'll see that you motion him out, but this tight end is going to cut up field for a huge gain. And that's just, if your opponent is playing a cover 2, that's wide open. I mean, you can see by the replay, um, there's nothing that, I mean, even if they're in a purple, they're going to bite down on that running back, and you're going to have this guy. So... If they're in a cover three, you have the dual streaks up the middle. They can't play both. And then you also will have the out route versus cover three, cover four. Um, so it's nice, nice play. I really use this play a lot. Assuming I can pick up their blitz without blocking my running back. So once again, the setup is to streak B, outside right, streak outside left, and then that's it. So this is against a cover three right here. You see that you just hike the ball, throw the little motioned out route, pick up decent yards. Go ahead, we'll try it again. Let's see, what can we audible to? Uh, here's cover three. Here's another version of cover three. So go ahead and motion them out. The ball, throw the out route, you know, pick up solid yards. Try it one more time. Say your opponent is you know, still in a cover three. They're baseline pressing. You know they're trying to mimic what you can do, or you know confuse what you can do. Um, this is where the streaks come into play. So you motion him out just like you normally would, and now you have the bomb threat. To, so it's. Pick your poison. You can't really be in any coverage and stop that play. Uh, you just have to get pressure and hope for the best. Um, next up, the quick base is a solid run play. Not going to really go into it too much. Just wanted to show you the motion that I use when I run this. I take this tight end, I motion him to step in, and I hike the ball. Um, what that does is it allows me just to have that extra blocker going right up the middle. That is a good run against like a quarter style defense. And the reason we like that play, or we like that motion, is for the play drive trail. So drive trail is a good little play. Um, you're going to streak the tight end and motion him to the left. So now we've got the corner streak flat combination with a drag and a running back angle route. Um, multiple reasons obviously but if you have time you just have people wide open. Um, so we'll go ahead run it again. And then as soon as he sets you just hike the ball and obviously you got drag routes not going to key in on those too much. Um, the flat corner streak combo should be open. So we'll go ahead, we'll baseline press. You should see. Uh, I got screamed at. The corner route actually didn't, didn't get open the way that it should. Go ahead, we'll put Jimmy Graham on a fade. Motion him over. Okay, so. There's that. There's the corner route. It was a bad throw, but you saw that it got open. Um, so instead of putting him on a streak, I guess you need him on a fade. Try it one more time. And then after this, we'll move on to a zone defense, or a man defense. So, once again, see it. 
That was a bad throw and everything. Play with it in game. I mean, it's the same concept we use out of pretty much every other formation. Um, so it gets open. And man defense right here. We're going to do the same scenario. Same exact hot route. So when we do this, you got the drag, obviously. Go back to man. Marshawn Lynch is not the best running back to do this with, but let's see. Uh, yeah, he even he got separation with it. Um, if you have a fast running back, that trail route gets wide open. Um, go ahead, run it again. See if I can get a little bit of time. So pretty much, he'll cut up, and you can just throw it. So nice play. Overall, you got it. You got the. Z-spot concept on the left, then you have a drag trail concept on the right, um, and then finally the play mesh. Mesh is one of those plays that doesn't look like anything else, so your opponent will know it's coming if they're smart. That does not mean that they're going to be able to stop it. So what are we in here? We're just cover three, 